Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to do a very simple trick in Adobe Premiere to get your video to appear inside of your text. It's very simple to do and we will be using the track mat key. So anyways, let's get started. So the first thing you will need to do is you'll need to start off with a new Adobe Premiere file. I'm going to be using a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to just download some video content from Pexels. So I'm just going to be adding the video that I downloaded. So once the video is in, you will need to drag it to your timeline. All right, and then the video will pop up here. So now all you need to do is you need to grab the T tool. All right, and you need to write some text on the actual screen. So if you need to change, you know, some of your text settings, you can always uh, go into essential graphics and then you can change the font size to whatever you want or you can just write in a value if you want to do that and then I'm just going to make sure that it goes just to the size of the text and then I can use my align and transform tools to center it in the middle. I'm also going to drag that until it gets to the end of that clip because otherwise it would have just stopped. So then the final thing that we need to do to uh, make the video appear in the text is we need to go to effects and we need to add in our track mat key. So you just type track up there and you want to drag it to your actual video, not your text layer. All right, so make sure that you're on this layer and then you can go and see all of your effects here. So we're going to be looking at the track mat key and then all you have to do is just go to the mat and change it to the corresponding video. So this will be video two and that's pretty much it so now when i play back the video is still going to play but the rest is all keyed out and then once you're finished with that you can always save it export it and uh, upload it to the internet anyways guys thanks for watching this very simple tutorial i hope to see you next time